Okay, so basically I'm having knee pains. I have a history of chondromalacia patella growing up and it's a softening of the cartilage between this bone here, the patella, and your femur, your bone here. So over time, um, the older I get, the worse it gets. I've managed to control it as a kid, but now it's become worsened. A lot of it has to do with a lot of abduction exercises that I've been doing for my glutes, not focusing on my vastus medialis muscle here. So you have your quads attached to you to your patella, your bone right here. And this muscle, my lateral quads, is pulling the patella laterally out and making the inside um, weak, inside muscles are weak, and so it's tractioning. My patella bone is, is actually tractioning. And uh, it actually hurts during squatting and flexing. Both my knees have pain. This has become chronic. I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that? Well, that's become arthritic on my left knee. I didn't have an issue with my right knee, but I knew it would happen eventually. So what I'm going to do to to help um, with the pain for a little bit, besides not squatting, I mean, I, I need to squat, but if it gets worse, I'm going to have to stop. But what I'm going to do is bring this patella more medially because of my weak um, adduction muscles. I got to work on this muscle to, uh, to really bring this patella more medially. So I'm going to use a kinesio tape, which is pre-cut here that I did, and place it on the side here and just go around the patella. But I'm going to have my knee flexed just like that. This will help support and reduce the pain a little bit while I'm squatting today. So I'm going to place it at the side there. Go around my patella from the bottom. And then, oops, this got sticky here. I mean, you should get this done by a professional. I'm not telling you guys to... Uh, to do this on your own. I'm just telling you what I'm doing for my knee. And so <clears throat> I'm trying to get the patella go medially on this side. Now I'm going to extend my leg and use this as a base support to bring the patella up. Great. So I'm going to add some, a little stretch on that, some tension. Go underneath and just bring this up a little bit, just like that. Okay. Like again, this is not the best taping that you're going to see, but this is what helps me during my squats. Now I'm going to use another tape here. This area of the bone here is called your tibial tuberosity. So I'm going to add the tape right on my tibial tuberosity bone right there. You should get to know the anatomy of your body. If you're working on your body, especially squats, get to know the anatomy of your leg muscles. I'm going to flex my knee all the way as much as I can. You see, now that I'm flexing it, there's already a little to no pain as I'm doing this. So this really helps me a lot. So I'm going to add the medial side of the tape to my adductor muscles for support right here. And then this side here, I'm just going to bring it to my tibial ITB band, or my lateral muscles here. And there you go. So. I'm also going to put uh, knee sleeves, my slingshot knee sleeves when I squat. So now, as you can see, this actually feels better.
So I finished with my squats and my leg work. I did a bunch of accessory work that I didn't record, but I kept my sweatpants on because I wanted to keep my legs warm. But I do have my knee sleeves inside and also the tape. So uh, let me show you how it looks like. been a huge help on my squats. Just a reminder, if anyone has knee pains, please consult your um, medical practitioner, uh, preferably someone who's into sports medicine, such as a chiropractor or an orthopedic doctor. So you want to get yourself checked before you do any treatments to yourself. All right, so thanks for watching. See you guys again next time.